Good morning everyone, PK here. So welcome back to another show. We are here in Coos Bay again. The last time we were here crabbing, we did really bad. We got, what, one Dungeness. So this is our second trip in about a week and hopefully, cross our fingers, we're gonna get some good ones today. Now crabbing season right now, normally, in years past, we would easy limit out. For some reason, this year, it's just not been good at all. Well, they're dredging. Yeah, they, um, we saw a dredger dredging the channel so maybe that could be an issue because it stirs up all the sediments I don't know but it's been really poor lately for crabbing but today we're gonna give it a shot now the weather for today is gonna get pretty hairy pretty soon here it's supposed to pick up um, to about 20 miles per hour at 10 o'clock then after that it's supposed to gust to up to 31 so we have a small window to catch these crabs it's about 6 30 right now the sun is just coming up over the horizon so we get all baited up and i'm gonna try something new today uh hot dogs i got these for a dollar at fred meyer i'm gonna try them out i know they work really good for a crawfish but i never used the uh, uh, hot dogs for bait to catch crab so we're gonna try it with hot dogs okay just a little experiment you know me i, I always try crazy stuff okay guys so let's not uh, waste any more time let's get out there Folks, just remember for 2020, all floating buoys used for crab pots or rings must be marked with uh, your name, your first name and last name, and also a address, phone number, uh, ODFW ID number, or a vessel ID. So that's pretty important. Hey, Jimmy, hold on. Our buoys right here don't back up yet. Yo, second pot. Good luck. Alright, I'm gonna put a hot dog and try it out. I'm gonna put a whole packet. Yeah, no dredger out there today. Okay, here we go, hot dog. Unfortunately, I don't have a camera on here, but we'll see when we lift it up. There we go. Okay, let's go fishing. So for these pots, we're soaking them for about an hour to an hour and a half. Now you don't have to soak them that long. Some people just go only about 20 to 30 minutes. That's fine too. But um, what we like to do is after we soak the pots, we just go along the jetty here and fish. So there's really no like set time where, you know, a certain time works best. At least you, you at least want to soak it for at least 20 minutes. So that way the, the, the scent trail has a chance to go far away and attract all those crabs, okay? Our average has been roughly about one hour to an hour and a half for soaking time. Now the best time to catch these Dungeness crabs is during the fall. It tapers off around late November, early December, and then gets really slow. And just remember along the Oregon coast, you can only keep male crabs. The females you cannot keep, and the size must be five and three quarter inch. The crab measure looks like this, and that's the uh, size limit right there for Oregon, five and three quarter inch. When you're measuring crab, you have to measure inside these points, okay? So you go like that, okay? You don't measure at the point here. You have to go inside to the inside on this side. So these are the red crabs. They're, uh, they, I like these more. These are very, very, they, they seem to be a lot meaner than the Dungeness. The Dungeness, for the most part, they're pretty docile. But these red ones, man, just be really careful because they're pretty quick and these claws hurt. Now this is a female. In Oregon, you can keep either male or female, it doesn't matter. And there's also no size limit for the red. You are allowed 12 Dungeness, and for the reds, you are allowed 24. There he is, fish on, guys. Oh, nice black rockfish. Where's that? Oh well, it's your lucky day. Well, not your lucky day, actually. Yeah. You're going to the frying pan no matter what, buddy. Exactly. Ooh, first fish, guys. Woo! Nice little black rockfish. Yeah, the other one's got a full belly. Thing for me. 
I'm gonna eat this one because I hear they taste good. He's probably about a pound, maybe a pound and a half. There we go guys, first fish of the day. Not a bad size, probably about 13 inches and I'm guessing about a pound and a half. Lynn got one too after his second cast. He brought up to the boat, seal came out of nowhere and grabbed it. And then I got this one. Pretty good start. <laughs> oh well, well the braid's working fine as you Great. can see. Why switch? That three edge works really good. There he is. Fish on. Come on. Come on, seal. Where is he? Oh no, no, no! No! He almost had that. It's a little copper though. Don't want the baby copper. Yeah. Eh, it's too small though. Your tail's been bitten off. Uh, the seal. Oh yeah, just now. That is a fresh cut, yeah. Run, buddy. Don't let the seal get you. They seem to be right just almost below us. Yeah. Away from the jetty where the seal is. Where's that seal? Oh, that's a keeper. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go, guys. Another. Whoa. There we go, guys. Another one. About the same size as last time. Pretty tiny, really nothing to write home about on that power bait right there with a chartreuse tail. Despite their small size, these are really fun to catch, you know? I can catch small fish all day than being at home. There it is right there, number two. All right guys, so it's been about an hour and a half and we're gonna check our pots. Hopefully we get something. Because so far here in Coos Bay it's been pretty dismal for crabbing. Which way we want to go? Forward or back? Um, go ahead and you have to face, um, put the butt towards the uh, mouth. Oh, okay. Because that's because we're dripping that way. Here we go. One legal one, guys, right there. Yep. So one so far. And a red crab. Another keeper. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. shell now. That one's a little better. 
What's going to be funny is if the back went with all the dogs in it. Yeah. <laughs> it it's better than the rest of them. That one feel. Feels a little bit heavy. So let's see what is in there. Yeah, got to get some scent going. Okay, come on, hot dog. Give me some big crabs. Cause it's been a slow, slow, slow season right now. Here we go, guys. Well, so far it's pretty light. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's light. Once I get this up, go ahead and go. A uh, hot dog isn't bad. Yeah, there's a hot dog, guys. We got one big one, another another one right there. So we got two. I mean, just given how slow it is, it's not bad. Yeah, right where we see the other boat. So hot dogs work too. Yes. Well, crabs are scavengers too, so anything will work for them pretty much. Yeah. Well, guys, this is definitely one of the bigger crab. Got on the hot dog. So you know, that's like by six and a half inches. Got one claw too. Yeah. What's up with this? Must be the twin brother. This one's got one claw as well. And oh yeah, he's perfectly legal. Six inches. And they ate every bit of the hot dog. Yeah, we got no hot dog left, as you can see. So we're gonna make it one more drop and then probably pick up and go home because it's starting to pick up pretty good. Let me show you our catches. We got one, two, three, four, five. So five Dungeness, which is better than the last time, because last time about three hours of crab and we got only one Dungeness. So, and this is one pickup, so not bad. I mean, not the greatest. Usually we get close to our limit already by now. For some reason just kind of dying down. There they are right there. Okay guys, this water's getting kind of rough, so we got our pots. We, the last pickup, we only got about two. So kind of slow day, but total we got about uh, eight, nine crabs, so it's not too bad. And five, and five red crabs. All right, we're gonna head on home now. 